But the most important thing to remember about our BiPAP and some of our CPAPs is if your CPAP has a mask that looks like the BiPAP will always have a mask, there is a very tight seal that goes around the nose and into the mouth. And this also wraps around the head to make sure this stays tightly in place because we wanna make sure that we're making this efficient lung compliance and adequate oxygenation exchange going on. So if our patients are unable to take this mask off themselves, then they should not be on BiPAP or CPAP. And the reason for this is when we're pushing pressure down into the lungs and if this patient happens to get sick they can always vomit and they can aspirate not only will they aspirate pneumonia into their own lungs but they'll be also sitting in a vomit filled mask as well and although it's easy to pop off the mask our patients don't always know this unless they've been on bipap multiple times so if they do not have the strength to remove this mask they absolutely should not be on it in addition to our drunk patients or our altered patients that don't understand why they need this mask. You cannot restrain patients either because they won't be able to take this mask off. And I've seen this been done before and I've gone in and taken these restraints off. So a wise person once said to me, if a patient cannot sit up and eat a cheeseburger, then this patient cannot go on a BiPAP or a CPAP with the mask as well.